We're in a pretty typical pattern for these next couple of days. In fact, maybe a little bit more dry than usual. We're going to see a dry end of the week, but to start out lingering light rain into tonight, it's going to favor the coast and uh, southern half of western Washington as it did today. It's going to continue into tonight. Then heavier rain is going to move in tomorrow evening. Biggest impacts will be tomorrow night through Wednesday morning. Then the end of our work week will stay pretty mild. It'll be mostly dry, but some light rain lingering into the end of the week. So right now, 41 degrees. It's pretty mild out there at SeaTac. Live look outside. A quiet evening in store for most of us. We did see this very uh, light system uh, move in, impacting the coast for the most part, down south as well. And that could continue to pull into western Washington overnight tonight, bringing some light rain chances into our overnight and early morning hours. Uh, then the next round arrives into tomorrow evening. So anything we feel tonight will be light at best. Uh, this is a look closer. Look, we can see those spotty showers into tonight by tomorrow morning, mostly dry for most of us right around lunchtime. That's when the next round of rain arrives. So this is going to be more widespread. Uh, this is going to be heavier rain compared to what we felt today. Today was just light and it was really just along the coast. Uh, so by tomorrow evening, 6 p.m. evening commute, spotty showers are possible. Mountain snow as well. Then Wednesday morning, early morning commute does look to be pretty widespread. By the time Wednesday night rolls around, most most of it will be fizzling out. So biggest impacts will be tomorrow night through Wednesday morning. Rain around Puget Sound likely going to cap out around a quarter, maybe half an inch. More uh, higher rain totals over along the coast. Snow totals for us as uh, staying between four to six inches of snow, really favoring above four or 2,000 feet uh, as we head into these next couple of days. So for tomorrow morning, that light rain possible from that weak disturbance, most of the day staying dry, and then it's those evening dinner time hours uh, that that next round of widespread rain moves in. Temperatures pretty close to what we felt today, so mid to upper 40s for most of us, some low 50s on the map as well. And as we take a look at the next week or so, temperatures do see a little bit of a cool down, down to the mid 40s, so just below seasonal norm as we head into the weekend, but there's that push for rain tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Thursday, Friday, light spotty showers are possible, but we will stay dry for the most part. Another push for rain Saturday and the next week is looking pretty quiet as well.